for games three and four. Clay Thompson and Steve Kerr talked about KD's absence last night. Let's take a listen. He continues to progress, and he has made progress, but, um, you know, it's a little more more serious than uh, than we thought at the very beginning. Speedy recovery. It's unfortunate, but it's part of the game, and we'll desperately need him to repeat. Uh, that's not, that's no, no secret about that. Well, Shannon, who wins game three back in Portland with no KD? Well, they're more than capable of winning this game without KD. That's the Houston Rockets. They have no problem coming to your building, kicking your butt. Um, hopefully, Golden, uh, Golden State. Portland doesn't make the mistake that Houston made. Oh, they're without KD. We got them now. Sure. They played without KD for a number of years, so they feel very comfortable, especially for the five starter. Even when you go back to it, Skip, Bogut was in the starting lineup, so he he's there at the very beginning. Yep. So he's very comfortable with their sets. <clears throat> Can they win it? Yes. Uh, I believe Portland will win game three, and Warriors probably will steal game four. Mm -hmm. But they're more than capable of winning this series, and I've said this before. I believe they can beat the Trailblazers without KD. I don't know if they can beat Milwaukee without KD. Mm. And that's a big difference in, in that situation. Portland blew a great opportunity. They would, they could have been what we call the catbird seat they had they won game sure. two. Yep. Now they're they're back. This this is you hate to say skip a game is a, you know first game at home is must but it's absolutely must win because mm. you lose this game you're not beating Golden State four in a row. Mm. Whether KD comes back never. You lose game three, you're not winning four in a row, you're probably going to end up getting swept. Correct. I, w I agree. I'm going to say it one more time. Golden State is not better without Kevin Durant, but Golden State definitely played better without him for the last five quarters against Houston because mm -hmm. it was going south just the way it had gone south so many times at Oracle during the regular season yes. when they just degenerated into KD or bust. And they lost five games, six, I'm sorry, six games in the regular season by 20 or more points, two of those by 30 or more points. Mm -hmm. And it was happening again because, remember, Houston was on a 22-9 to nine run, mm -hmm. had gotten within a point of Golden State when Kevin did say, okay, give me the ball, get out of my way. He made the jumper from the baseline, pushed off, rest is history. Mm -hmm. And now it sounds like, with Steve Kerr saying, it's more serious than we thought. Right. <sighs> Does that mean he could be gone for the whole playoffs? It could. Possibly. Yeah. Because I, I would have felt better, Skip. I don't know if we heard – have we heard KD speak? Normally the guy has an injury. He comes out and says, you know what, I've had this before because I think he missed a couple of games last year with the strained calf. Mm. You know, hey, I'll be back in no time. But we haven't heard him speak. No, we have not. And by the way, just a quick point of order. I've been surprised in games one and two that Kevin didn't come out in civilian clothes. Yeah and stand on the end of the bench and applaud and, and participate in the sideline huddles. I'm just surprised because usually LeBron, when he was out, yeah. he, he came to the games. Sure. He participated. He helped coach a little bit. Right. He, he added his two cents in the sideline huddles. Kevin's in the locker room, right. and Kevin's up the runway when, when they're coming up for halftime. Right. He's greeting. He getting treatment. In. He tried to get that well, thing. Okay, to get well, you, I, I'll buy that, but you do have 24 hours to get. No, nah, we would do. We do that thing around the clock. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. just a little surprised by that because it's not normal behavior for a superstar. They they come out for their team. Again, You're is right. he does he not want to be in the spotlight where he, he he'd have to worry about the cameras are on me every second? He don't want to make any sudden move. You know, really? he have to push off to get out the way of something, and then really boom, yeah, just stay out of the way. He, I, he good. I think you're really trying to cover for him, and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. But. The man who said it best yesterday at the shoot-around was not Steph Curry, but Seth Curry made a great point yesterday. He said, the Warriors are not better without Kevin Durant, but they are harder to guard without Kevin Durant. Yes. Well, they are. Yes. Period. Yes. End of story. Right. That sums it up because all of a sudden, when you don't have any clear outs, you don't have any ISOs, they are running and cutting like banshees. Because it's, it's hard to guard those. The teams. biggest thing is, Skip, is that you have three guys yeah. that their main purpose is to set picks yeah. when KD's out for Steph and Clay to constantly oh. run off and then roll to the basket. Yeah. So yeah, they, they are a very different team. And it seems like they cut harder. The, the, the screens are set more firm. It just seems like every 
guys are on the floor a lot more because they realize the margin in which they can win has greatly decreased because you don't have a guy that can go give you 35 mm -hmm. on a nightly basis. So everything picks up his height. It does. And I got to I gotta give props to Steph and Clay. They're in supreme shape. Oh, absolutely. They run so hard off yeah. picks, especially Steph. It just... And, and again, he gives That's up the I mean. ball to reposition. Yeah. Like, as soon as he yeah. gives it back to a big, he, he's just Go, gone again. cutting baseline, cutting off yeah. another pick. He'd have been a heck of a track and field runner. He probably oh. could have been, <laughs> did, did a real good job at, like, something around 1,600, you know, 1,600 meter skip, oh. uh, 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 3,200 meters. I, I would oh. agree. And he's an underrated <laughs> athlete because so his, his quickness is it, 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 it's sort of shocking to your eye because he doesn't look that athletic no. until he starts cutting. And then you say, where did those gears come from? Right. He'll, 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 get, he'll get the ball, and they're right there. He'll give it up, and then he takes off running to all the way to the other side. And I'm like, how did he get there so quick? Right, and I believe Stephen made the point. Dame and CJ and Seth are, are having to chase him so much that by the fourth quarter, you're just sort of worn out mentally and physically. And that's what you need to do with Steph. Remember, when Eric Gordon was going at him, making him play defense. That is true. He struggled on the offensive end. All of a sudden, Eric Gordon goes cold. He doesn't make Steph work on the defensive end. Second half, Steph lights him up. Game, what, game six? Mm -hmm. Boom, it's over. Yeah. Game five, it's, they won in game five. Yep. Game five, mm -hmm. it's over. Yeah. So, back to game three. Game, it was game six. Game yeah, six. Game, game, six. six. Yeah. game six. Game three, Portland. This team has to have enough pride. Those two stars, and I, I'm going to give, Damian is considered a superstar. A superstar. Yes. And CJ is at least considered a star. Correct. They have so much to prove in game three because they're getting, I always say, the, these big playoff series, they either reveal or expose character. If it got revealed by Seth last night, we saw he's got deep character. Mm -hmm. He inherited part of it, and part of it he had to teach himself. But he had the confidence because of his father and his big brother to say, I can do this on that right. stage last Correct. night. Dame and CJ just disappeared. as I, They became the Crash Brothers right on schedule because we've seen it from both of them regularly in the playoffs. Right. We saw CJ rise and shine against Denver, a young Denver team at home in, right. at, at Denver in Game 7. But this is the stage. This is the Western Conference Finals. And so both of their legacies, they've been playing long enough, they're on the line in game three. Mm -hmm. What is it? It'd be Saturday night. It'd be okay. looking real yeah. bad for CJ. Hey. KD, like, hold on, bro. Y'all got me. Y'all got us without me. That is correct. And y'all couldn't do oh, nothing. Oh, yeah. Is he going to have Kevin back yeah. on his podcast? <laughs> so this, uh, this, wouldn't, this wouldn't be a good look what for Kevin the say about last year? He said, and you got, you were the three seed, and he said, and you played like the eight seed, yeah. and they got swept, right? Don't, don't worry about this at the top. Okay. All right. Don't worry, don't worry about, about this. what happened, what goes on at the top. <laughs> well, he can, he can really rub that in Ooh. in the offseason. Yes. So this is it for them. Yeah. They need to take a stand as two guys who have reputations in this league. They're at home. They were 32-9 and nine at home this year, which was the second-best record in the West, tied with the Spurs, just behind Denver. Yep. This is your time. You, you have to, to take a stand because you out three them at Oracle. It was 18-9 yep. to nine in three-point shots. You should have won that game. It. Yep. You got to yep. win that one. You got to plant your flag. Okay. This All is right. moon landing. Plant okay. your flag. flag. Hey. We'll see. I told you that February 13th game I watched, we were on vacation. I was in Las Vegas. Ernstine's just livid with me because I said, I can't stop watching <laughs> this game because Zach Collins comes in and he gets into it with Clay in some really foul languages. It is traded between those two, especially from Zach to Clay. And Steve Kerr went nuts in that game and got ejected, and they just fell all apart and lost 129 to 107. Well, that has to happen now mm -hmm. to plant your flag. Right. You, you're capable of doing this. You did it once at home against Golden State this year. You have to do it this time. And then if you get gentlemen swept after that, at least you you, you have a little pride left. Nah, Skip, right. you got to make, really, you should make this a seven-game series. Yep. Without KD? You should. You got to be. Yeah, but it's just hard after you don't win either of the first two games. Yeah, yeah especially when you have game two. What did I see the stat this morning? If you go 0 and 2 in the conference 51 finals, and 5. 51 and 5. And then if it's if it's 3 and 0 or 0 and 3, then it's never been done. It's never been done. Oh yeah, I mean, unless you got a LeBron James on your team. 
No, I don't. That was oh. in the finals, though. That's uh, that, the finals. Yeah. Oh, he down 3-1 until yeah. 3 And that was when Draymond got suspended. Stop it, Skip. See, there you go. All that. We and don't that need all that. That was when Kyrie hit the shot of shot. What about the block? Yeah. And that was when J.R. Smith cut off Iggy at the pass. You remember so he CJ said he went and got that thing bronze style. Yeah. Well, he did because he got help from his teammate also, right? They're still talking about that. Right. You know that was the play of the year? It wasn't play of the year. You're still talking about it, that's for sure. Huh. I hear about it all the time from you. Great Most play. overrated play. No, it was not. Don't do that, Every Don't do that. Day, Wait, what? That was the defining there. play. Okay, well, what do you mean defining? Defining. JR cuts him off at the pass. He slows him down, and Iggy had to hesitate for a second. Can you imagine? And then he tried to lay it up instead that, of dunking. That would have been what you call him. If, huh? if, if, if Iggy makes that play, Kyrie's three, all he could do is, like, what? Mm -mm. Mm. LeBron says, not on my watch. Where did he come from, Skip? I still don't know where he came from. Well, well it was an easy catch-up. No, 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 no. He had to slow down for JR. Even Iggy say he doesn't know where he came from. You know, from. If, if it had been a pure chase down pure. with no assist, he got a huge assist. Iggy says, I don't know where yeah. he came from. Yeah, it was a He had that black and the Cape Crusader. That's no. what I thought. I was like, that's Batman. No, that was a bicycle built for two. No, it was not. I thought it was Batman, Skip. That's really? what I thought. Really? Because yeah, he had an all-black uniform with the C on it. Really? Like, wow. Mm. Well, here we go. That's it. Overhyping, overrating. No. <laughs> we oh, had some, uh, Stay really? tuned. Huh? Stay tuned. Same bat more. time. Oh, so Same it, bat channel. It was a space jam? Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Way to go. You just... I might need some time off. I might have to feel my, you know, do my part. Are you going to do it? Have you heard from him? What role? Whoa! What, what role are we playing? Uh. Like, hey, I can't, you know, I can't begin our information uh. right now. You're going to be a monster? It's, it's, in, it's in the works. <laughs> yeah. To the works. I'd like a roll too. Yeah. I'll be nice to get a roll. You want a roll, Skip? Uh, I, I would like a sweet roll. No, yeah, I bet you would, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we're going to change it. Yeah. We need a couple of haters. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Some good genes were on display last night. The Curry brothers were Bugle the boy. story mm. of the night. And we'll discuss all that next.